Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today, we're gonna to go over leaflet control search so that you can search markers and feature locations by attribute. So stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is grab our code from a GitHub web page, and you can either do a Google search for leaflet control search, or I'll leave a link in the description below where you could find this page. So once we're here, we can just scroll down just to confirm that it's the leaflet control search and a little image of what it does look like. So what we need to do is grab our code by going over here to the green code button and download zip. In our downloads file, let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, I'm just gonna cut out this extracted folder and I'm going to put that into my project folder along with my basic HTML structure right here. So let's go ahead and open that up. And again, it's just a basic web map. If I go ahead and run that, there's nothing much to it. So we'll just keep this very simple. Okay, so as far as data goes, I did a video and I'll leave a link in the description down below. But basically what it is, I go to this geojson.io website and I basically make some random markers. And if I click onto them, you see that my field name is color and the attribute is either blue or purple or black or red. And what I did is I just saved this as a geojson file. And I'll go and do that one more time. Go to my downloads. I will cut that out. Put that into my project folder. I'm just gonna change this to call the color locations. Okay. Let's go over to our HTML structure. Okay, so here's our color locations. I'm gonna make one more copy of this. And I'm gonna change the extension. That JS. Okay. And here, we're gonna do a variable color Locations equals it said go back to our HTML structure and what we're gonna do is call out that a script for that data that we just put in there. Script source code. And then it's going to be if I right click here and I get the copy of the relative path, paste that right between my quotes. And close this out. Now, what we do is we're going to need to add the CSS from the leaflet search master, that file we just downloaded. So if I open this up, and I go to the dist folder and I'm going to add this leaflet search.src.css and I'm going to copy this format right up here. Okay, so I'll do link. Okay, and then from here, I am just gonna, again, right click, copy relative path. It's gonna paste that right in there. Okay. And then I'll go and close that.
Okay, now we need to add the JavaScript. So over here, we can also do a script. So equals, and we're going to add this right here. So again, right click, copy relative path, paste that right in between the quotes there. And we'll go and close out of that. Okay. So we have the style sheet, the JavaScript, and we also have a link to our data right here. Okay, so down in the body, what we can do is we're going to add our JSON data. Okay, we'll do a construct search layer equals lgeojson. Then our file name, which is location, or excuse me, color location. Okay, so on each feature function feature layer layer. And we're gonna do a bind pop-up. So again, that's where we click onto the marker and we'll get the pop-up of what a particular attribute is called. properties color. Now again, this is the structure right here, the bind the bind pop-up again is gonna click if we click onto a marker, it's gonna look down and it's gonna pull the attribute from color. Again, this is in this logic here. So it's gonna say feature, properties, color, and it's gonna pull up the name. Okay. And we'll add to map. Okay, so now we'll add the control search. To a construct search control. Equals new control search. There, search layer. Property name. It's called. Okay. And then map. Add control. Search control. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this off. And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so here is here are our data points. And if I click onto that, I get each the color name, right? And now here is the control search. Now, if I start typing, say, as you can see, I have a blue and a black. And if I select blue, it goes right to the area. If I type in red, to the area. Now, in the GitHub page, there's also a lot of different options we could choose to modify our results. And one thing is the zoom. So if we go back to our code, and right over here, if I say zoom, 
and we give like a zoom level. So say if I say 15, refresh this. Say if I say blue again, I can zoom in a lot, lot, um, lot further in. If I say gray or green and so forth. Okay, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this demonstration on how to use the leaflet control search. I kept it very simple so you guys could follow along. As always, please leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions on any future videos. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.